everybody this is Michelle with Mickey Do's Creations and I have a project that I like to share with you it's my Tsunami Rose and the kit is her prayer journal digital kit and what we have is a the book is eight and a half by six and a half or six and a half by eight and a half one signature with a one and a half inch binding and I have it enclosed with an eyelet and then there is teal and ivory seam binding and then I have this cross here I just thought that was really cute to put in then what I have is an embellishment flower that my girlfriend Paula I believe Paula made this flower for me and then a couple other uh, prima flowers corrugated heart and I have some gauze and there's a button on there and then the back is a book page I trimmed it and I coffee stained it and inked it the little cherub is from I believe it's a Pinterest there were two of them but only one could fit so we have the one and then on the back I made a little pocket and then you have little tags and then the book page behind there again and then the little pearls mm. and then the ink that I used is the Ranger archival ink sepia and I tried to use only tsunami rose ephemera flowers etc in here and what we have is on this side there's a brown bag and then you can put behind inside and in front and then I have a little saying whatever you are be a good one in all the tags I have some sort of lace ribbon embellishment on it we have like another cute little cherub here and there's gauze and eyelash lace this is a purple kind of come a little closer and in this journal I don't have a lot of flips and tucks because I want people to be able to do a lot of writing and each page has a verse from the Bible which is really pretty I won't take the time to read them because it'll just take too much time but every page that is of the digital kit I have it trimmed with vintage lace all right then we have a little tuck spot here out of a book page a little bird stamped I think those are stamp it up and then again here are the two different size tags and then this ephemera has oh doubt not my love and there's blue beige and pink eyelash trim plenty of room and then we have Martha Stewart punch I can't this was I believe this is like um, a doily punch and then on this side it is the olive punch that I have trimmed here you can see that okay. and then you turn it over and I have this little ephemera little I cut one of the tags in half pardon my reach and I just have it attached with a black black safety pin or paper clip excuse me and then we have a little flower here I have two different size flowers there is um, I have the gauze I have it layered with some eyelash lace and then a brown or no excuse me a green corrugated flower and then another little flower behind it and then a butterfly coffee stained heart doily and then here's the other little cherub girl 
And I go in ahead and put her over here, and there's a little tuck spot there. I'm trying to stay here and focus. Sorry about that. And then I, I included, um, I think there was like 12 of these little sayings with butterflies that I purchased from Michaels, and I put those inside the book. And I made a little tuck spot with one of the other ephemeris that came with the kit, some flowers. And then here is a little flip, heartfelt, and then another banner paper clip embellishment that I made with some hearts and then a ticket and put a little pearl on it. And the banner ideas, it's I can't say exactly where. I know that Paula has showed me how to make some. Um, I don't know where they originated from, so I am trying to give credit to those that I can remember. So forgive me if I don't say your name. Um, then we have another little pocket that I made here out of page book page butterfly in the back a flower from tsunami rose pink eyelash lace and then two different types of punches another little stamp together we can do anything here's another banner that i made out of a book page and then my, of course i like butterflies but i thought it would just be so pretty with the with this kit and then the line pages so you can do a lot of writing and then this is a card I forget it's another type of journaling card that she has with the kit a lot of pretty colors page so very blessed uh, pretty much most of my stamps are from stamp it up here's another ephemera that I just went ahead and glued to the page. Another little pocket that I made, Corner Punch. The Corner Punch is from um, out of the U UK. And then the little girl, I thought she was really cute and layered it with gauze and some eyelash lace. Tag, again, butterfly, ribbon, lace. And then here's this one. With, I thought that was really pretty, the feathers, and I went ahead and put some flat pearls, black lace. So whoever gets this journal, you will have lots of room for writing. And then, then with the tags, you can use the tags for bookmarkers. You can use the tags for other journals if you want. And then here's another envelope that I made using the book page, Martha Stewart gauze, tsunami rose flower, heartfelt, and then this is a square doily, coffee dyed from my friend Rita Donnelly, otherwise, otherwise known as G. Marie's Scrap Shack. And then here is a brown, I guess it's a glassine bag, that I border, uh, did a border punch. And then another little saying, forever faithful and true. And then I shrunk the journaling cards down and printed it on paper. And so there's a couple of them here in the bag. And this is pretty, I like this one. Oh, Doubt Not My Love, another Martha Stewart punch, and then this is a really pretty page. I like the, these pockets here are known as the Rita Donnelly flip, and then this was really pretty. I found this music sheet, and it's called Morning Prayer, and I thought, how, how perfect for this. Got a little tuck here. And then here I have gauze, I have a flower, and then another size flower, and then I put the bling on it. And that's on both pages, and both tucks open, flip. And this is really cute. I have, I'm going to bring it a little closer, if I don't got it tangled. Sorry about this. 
they're a cross and a star that I put here. So those are hanging from the string in the center. Then I went ahead and used the bigger roses for a little tuck. Just so many different colors to, that she put in there. It's just gorgeous. And then here's another ephemera and some more journaling cards that I shrunk. And then I used a different punch for this side of the bag. A lot of room to journal, put pictures. And then here's another little flip pocket made from book page. And then here is another pocket. And it was laced with, not laced, I have brown eyelash lace. And then another book page of a music. Lullaby Little One. I thought that was really cute. And then a little corner punch. And then on the other side, I have a little, two little pockets. One up here. And then here, I had just another piece of the page, book page, that I didn't need to use. So I went ahead and put that there. So you can put a little pocket here and a pocket there. And then I made another, this pocket, I believe I was watching Diane H. And I thought that was really pretty. So I folded and made the pocket with the book page. And then I made another little piece that I trimmed out and attached it and put some blue flat pearls. And then another little flip. with it's goes from red to orange. I thought that was really pretty. Two different tags. And then this one is another banner that I made using a scallop punch and then the two different size flowers. You can open that up, do some writing. You can do that on both sides. And I have it held together with a black paper clip. I have another little flap here. And then I used a Martha Stewart punch again to make a belly band. This is a flower from Michaels with lace, gauze, paper flower. And this is one of the bigger cards that I cut in half. And I put a little pearl, half pearl right here. I thought that was kind of cute. Just different. And on the back there's another pocket that I made from a paper page and then here is another little pocket and I put the pink half half pink they're not full size but they're a little half back a little in bling bling and then another tag with some pearls and I believe that these these blings, the colored ones, I got at Walmart. I think you get a package and they're like for 99 cents. Here is another ephemera. It says welcome. I just made it to where you could just tuck up there. And even a bigger roses that I went ahead and made into a tuck. Another card. Martha Stewart punch. And then I thought I'd be different and put the little tuck spot up there in the, the left hand corner. A little flower stamp. Lace. This one I didn't do anything to just because I didn't trying to put it up in there. I didn't want the book to be too bulky. And then here's the back. And I just thought this was so pretty. I can show it better. Um, I put red card stock on the book and then I had the 
signatures or cursive writing stamp and then the gold and again with the Martha Stewart punch so that is my my journal and I hope that everybody likes it um, if you like it give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe please um, subscribe I could always um, more the merrier I like to learn new things and I like to share things and again I will put uh, Tsunami Roses link information in um, the description um, and all the other pertinent information and again this is Michelle from Mickey Do's Creations and I thank you all for watching have a great day bye